What's up guys, this is going to be a uh, back issue haul video of sorts. And I'm doing something different this time that I haven't done before. Um, this is um, the stack I'm going to be showing you. And then um, this is all the Swamp Thing books that I've picked up. And I'm going to be doing a uh, separate video for these. Sort of a Swamp Thing collection update. I'll talk about um, the state of my Swamp Thing collection as it stands right now and uh, and show you all the new stuff that I picked up and I think I'm gonna keep doing those until uh, till I complete all the stuff that I want to complete but um, this is um, you know back issues from let me turn this light on these will be back issues from as many as you know three weeks ago the la whenever the last time I did a video I just, I usually don't get a ton at a time. I just let them pile up and then do a video, so. Um, so, yeah, there's a few uh, minor keys, first appearances in here that I'm going to, uh, that I guess I'll go to first. Those tend to be the most interesting. And I'll go from there. Okay, here we go. This is a uh, a key book that I think is on the rise as far as popularity goes with her involvement in the Trinity War. This is Doorway to Nightmare number one, the first appearance of Madame Xanadu, and you can see her with her, uh, her fortune-telling card there. Uh, it's a 35 center, I believe it's from like 1978. It's a pretty cheap book. I got it in uh, very fine condition for, I want to say, $10 or so. So um, so it's a pretty affordable book, and I think it's going to, uh, it's only going to rise in value with all the Trinity War stuff that's going on. And then I picked up uh, the new Teen Titans number 21. This is the first appearance of both Brother Blood and the Night Force. The Night Force is sort of a paranormal investigation team. I picked up a few of their books uh, a few weeks ago, but I picked this up because Brother Blood was in, um, showed up in Animal Man. It was his first appearance in the New 52, and I wanted to uh, to read about his first appearance ever. So this was also a very affordable book, and I got it for six bucks. So um, not, not going to pass on that. I love minor keys. And I've been picking up some Daredevils, and there's quite a few in this little stack here, and I'll segue in with this one. Uh, this is Daredevil number 254, the first appearance of Typhoid Mary. Pretty cool cover. And to go along with that, like I said, 254, I picked up 255 and 256. The rest of that, um, that story arc. So... And then there's some more Daredevils here. I guess they aren't really in any order. Uh, I have some Daredevil in my collection, but not a lot. And I think I'm going to start focusing on um, picking up some Daredevils, at least once I slow down on the Swamp things. And uh, and once I get some Animal... Once I finish Animal Man and stuff as well. But this is uh, Daredevil number 177. Awesome cover. Marble Bronze Age. This is number 202. 204, 222, 289, 291, and then I got a few in a row here, uh, 307, 308, and don't mind the uh, the prices on them because I didn't pay that. I got it. Um, got all these for probably um, fifty cents or seventy five cents a piece. Three oh nine and three ten. And that's all the Daredevils. I showed this in my haul video last week because I got it when I was at the uh, the comic book shop on Wednesday. But this is Phantom Stranger number 14, Spectre of the Stalking Swamp. Sort of a um, Swamp Thing-esque character. Very uh, tanned, but surprisingly the interiors are 
um, off-white, believe it or not. It's just the cover that's really tan. So um, I'm happy to have this. It's been a book that I've been looking for for a while with my interest in Swamp Thing and everything. And I'm also collecting that uh, Phantom Stranger Volume 2 run. This is Wonder Woman number 283, I want to say. I've been picking up some Volume 1 Wonder Womans. I don't have a lot, but I have a couple. And another series that I have a little bit of, but not a lot. Um, Conan the Barbarian, number 50. And number 76, more Bronze Age Marvel goodness. And I have a, f a couple um, DC Bronze Age horror books, which you guys know I'm also big into with some Spectre appearances. This is Ghosts, number 97. And this is a series that I like a lot. These are really, really awesome books. Uh, I have probably have six or seven of them now in my collection. And this is number 98. So I'm really happy to find those for a good price. And uh, and finally, uh, I saw all of these. The shop was selling them for $3 for the whole set, which I couldn't really pass up on. This is um, Dead Man, Dead Again. I got one through five. Haven't read them yet, but I uh, flipped open the first book and the artwork looked kind of bad. So, um, so we'll see what goes on in these books. But... Uh, those are the non-Swamp Thing back issues that I've picked up, I've accumulated over the past month. Um, this is the Swamp Thing stack, and I'm going to go through that separately and, uh, and talk about my Swamp Thing collection um, specifically. So um, stay tuned for that in the next, I don't know, couple days, maybe Thursday or Friday, I'll put that up. And, uh, and yeah, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.